Which is like you know everyone's gonna animate after a second. So what I need to do is I need to make the animation come after every three frames. So what I need is the second frame must be on the third frame, the third frame must be on the sixth frame, and and so on. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on this frame here, which is the third frame. Let's say it's the fourth frame. So I'm gonna hit F6 on this key. And let's say somewhere around here, F6. You don't need, really need to be perfect because as our frames, 30 frames per second won't make much of a difference. So once you've done that, let's hit another one here. And once you've done that, let's unlock all these layers here. Make sure you don't unlock the first layer. So come on the first frame here and just highlight everything you see on the stage here. Make sure your first layer is locked. So we don't really by mistakenly delete that. Now, see if I delete anything now on the stage, you see that all of the points on the first frame are gone. You see the ones which you just created are not going to go since they are not highlighted. So I'm just going to press the delete key and you see we have a stair type of a frame. So now you'll be thinking the first frame is seen in the first frame, the first layer, sorry. And in the second frame, the first layer is not seen. So what we need to do is you see that everyone just blinks in and goes. We need to have all of them together. So we need to highlight all these frames here. Make sure you click somewhere out so that you're safe and then just click here and drag straight down so you have all of them highlighted and just hit on your F5 key to insert a frame or you could just right click and click on insert frame which is F5 key now let's add a stop here so that's as we already created our actions layer I'm going to hit F6 here as I said again you need a key frame to put in actions at the point you really want once you've done that hit an F make sure you are in your actions layer in the 16th frame I'm going to click on the actions icon here and let's type in again stop once you've done that let's close the actions and let's check what we have here let's see we have one two three four five cool okay now let's test and see what we have here control enter to test your movie and you see woo we see an animation there what we'll do now is actually we'll remove the main stop so Let's get in there again. In we can go in any of the layers there. So I'm just going to remove for temporary. So what I'm going to do is click any actions frame here and click on your actions. I'm going to disable this code by not just deleting it. So I'm just going to click on the first line here and I'm going to make this to a comment. So what I'm going to do is apply a line comment. So now you see that the code is disabled. Now if you test our movie. You see that it's gonna animate it's really a fast animation since our speed is 30 frames per second but it's still really cool you could make it look in a different way and the different ideas for that is let's say you reduce our frames somewhere around let's make this 20 frames per second and now let's test our movie you see that that's really a cool animation we have there and the main idea here is we could make them in copies so what I would basically do is come back and come back again so once you're on the scene since you know this is a uh, animation I'm gonna click on it with my selection tool hold on my alt key and just drag one way down let's drag this let's highlight both of them and drag one way on the right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color so the best way to change a movie clip color is just click on it make sure you're in the properties and go to color effect style tint when you do tint basically it changes the color of the stroke and the fill so with that in mind I'm still going to change my color so I'm going to take a red and for this I'm going to take sorry a tint I'm going to take an orange it's light orange and again let's go to tint and let's take let's say mm -hmm, mm -hmm, which color we really didn't use here let's say gray and now let's test our way and see how it really reacts here Hmm. The first one really animates more since it's got a stroke and their strokes are really dead. It looks like a breakup animation. So let's make this really smooth. So let's get into any of these movie clips since all of them are the same. If you come to your properties options here, you see that all of them are circle. Circle, they don't, they don't really change since we made copies of them. Now let's get in the first one. So I'm going to double click. Make sure you are, let's say, I'm going to get in this layer. 
double click again so we have this animation which just gets in small let's make another animation continuing with this and it goes like reverse so what we basically do is since it's a shape to it's really easy so what you just click and drag to your first frame make sure you highlight your frames properly and what I'm going to do now is right click copy frames and again click on your 17th frame or 16th frame wherever it's the next frame and right click paste frames once you see it's pasted let's do a selection again let's just click on the 30th frame and drag make sure you highlight it properly as I said click and drag once you select we need to reverse it since it's going to again from big to small again from big to small so we need to right click once it's selected click on reverse frames and once you've done that if you see we have a big let's animate this and let's see what we have here big to small and a small to big that's cool so once you've done that let's test our movie which has already made a changes to all of them and let's see what we have oh, that's a really cool animation we have here and now these basically look more cool than the first one so we don't really need strokes the best thing to do is just get in this again and let's delete our strokes and all of these main frames here so what I'm going to do is just double just give a click since it's the same shape what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here so done that make it make sure you have a selection tool I'm on 30th frame let's see how we delete all these strokes just give a click delete go back to this frame and click on your stroke delete make sure you delete your stroke since it's filled okay 15th frame delete first frame delete there we go and now we have cool animation simple normal and now the tint won't really affect since the tint is just changing the color so now we don't have a stroke since we made copies all of them are changed now let's test our movie and check the first one does the same thing like all that looks really cool um, there are many things you can make changes to for example you could come in these frames here and just reduce the size I'm going to go to the transform tool and just let's say reduce them make different changes for each let's make a unique change for each I'm going to increase this and I'm going to let's say decrease this way tiny and in the last one I'm going to make it a bit small now let's see what we have here it's a different one as many changes you make you get different types of ideas so make sure you try to practice and get as many different techniques you get so it's going to be really cool in the future we could make this animate a lot more I'll be showing you these in a future tutorial so we don't really cover up everything in one tutorial so I hope you learned something from this tutorial and it was really useful for you if you really were interested in animating some shapes in flash so I hope you learned something from this and uh, you can visit my website which is tut.studiodesigns.com or you could visit my youtube channel which is flash, flash expert with an x and P E R T. and you can even ask me some tutorials if you really like me to create so again I hope it was really useful thanks for watching